All right, I thought I would uh, show you all a mistake I made. Uh, this transmission is out of a 37 to 38 Chevrolet. As you can see, it's a stick shift. I'm out here in my barn where I keep a lot of my extra stuff. This is the transmission out of my 48 Chevy, the one that was in it when I got the car. I had the bright idea to convert the car to a stick shift because my column shifter is just wore slap out. Um, well, there's a problem. This is the same. This is the same. The bolt pattern does not match the bell housing. So that's not the same. But here's the biggest problem. The length. We're probably, I haven't put a rule on it, two and a half to three inches shorter between here and the 48, which means the drive line will not meet up to it. Now, the, uh, the collar will. It's the same size as the, for, the, for this one as it is on the 48. But the drive shaft is that much too short. So, I have spent money on this transmission that I didn't need to spend. So I'm going to turn around and sell it. In fact, the man who had it for sale had somebody else that was looking at it. So I may just uh, call him and tell him to send him my way and I'll sell it to him for the same price. If he wants to come up here to get it, because that fell is about 120 miles away. But anyway, that's a lesson learned. I thought that might be some good information for anybody who doesn't know that they uh, want to interchange. So, why not just get a longer drive shaft? Well, here's why. There's no stretch in this thing. Not only that, but uh, this is a different spline count on this yoke. This thing has a lot more splines. This is the extra rear end that I have, which I need to rob all these good parts off of. But anyway, that's that's where we're at. So that's why I can't use that transmission. So anyway, back to the drawing board on trying to figure out how to put a stick shift in a 48 Chevy with the original type transmission. If anybody has any ideas, please let me know. Until then, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you now.